So today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a melee combo system in Unity that will look something like this. I also put this into my game and it works great. So to start I already imported my characters, some animations and a movement script. If you would like to learn how to import characters and animations from Mixamo, check out the video on the right or in the descriptions down below. So after you have your character and the movement script, we need to get a sword model. What I do is I usually go to Google and write sword model FBX because that is the best model to work with in Unity. I found this medieval sword which looks really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and download it. When you import the model to Unity, you have to first make a prefab of it. So drag the model from the project to the scene and then back to the project and make an original prefab. Now you can change the color and mine is gonna be brown, it's gonna be like some sort of a wooden training sword. You can also place a box collider on it if you want to deal damage later or something that you like. Now you need to put that sword into your character's hands and your character model has to have a hand object. If you follow my Mixamo animations video or you already imported Mixamo's character, you can expand this, expand the Mixamo rig hips, then spine, then spine 1, spine 2, right shoulder, right arm, right forearm, and then you will finally see the right hand. You place the sword there and adjust the sword however you'd like. I'll position it like this. Now if you run the game you can see that the sword follows your animations and something that I usually do is I run the game and then I adjust the position of the sword while the game is running. I go to copy component and then stop the game and, and paste the component values. That way you can position your sword more precisely. Now it's time for some coding and don't worry it's not a long script. I created a fighter script. The first thing that we need is an animator. Then in the start we have to initialize that animator. So we create an onClick method and we need some variables. So cooldown time, next fire time, static int number of clicks, uh, last click time and max combo delay. In the onClick method we have to do last click time is equals to time dot time, no of clicks plus plus. Then in an if statement we check if the number of clicks is one. It basically does a counter of how many clicks we've, we've actually done. And before we go any further, we have to add some animations. You need to add an animator to your player game object. And then in that animator, we need to add all of our attacks. We go right click, create state and empty. You can create as many states as you have attacks. I'll be creating three attacks, so I'm adding three states. I'm naming them hit one, hit two and hit three. Now we need to click this little plus here and click bool, create three of them, calling them hit one, hit two, hit three. Now we need to put animations on the states that we created. I already downloaded some animations from Mixamo as I said, so I'm just gonna be putting them in the right attack state. Now we need to make transitions from the movement to the hit one and put hit one to true and turn off exit time. When it goes back, exit time stays on and hit 1 is false. Now you have to make it same for every hit. Now if we go back to our script, we put anim here, set bool hit 1 to true. Now we need to do mathf clamp, like this. And clamps are the given value between the minimum and the maximum float and returns the given value if it's within the minimum or the maximum range, if that makes sense. Now we check if the number of clicks is larger or equal to 2. And now this line here checks if the current animation that is playing now is finished. If it is, hit 1 is false and hit 2 is true. You make the same thing for the hits 2 and 3, but we have to check if the number of clicks is larger or equal to 3. If you have more combos, you just, uh, you just have to adjust these numbers to, to be higher and higher.
Now we need to go to the update and check if maybe the animations that you were playing are over and we just need to turn them off. So basically that means if you click only one click at a time, you'll be only playing the first animation. So combo will only work if you continuously click the mouse. Now this could be done with on exit state, but I didn't get it to work that way. So it wasn't as good as this. So on the last if statement, so you have to put the number of clicks to zero. We only need to put a cooldown now. Check this if and we reset the number of clicks and if the time that time is larger than the next fire time we then check for the input and in the input we check for the on click method that we created and we are done so it's actually a really simple and quick script if you drag the script to the player game object uh, and change the cooldown time I found for me the best is 0.8 and if you launch the game, you will see that you can hit some dope ass combos. If you press clicks one by one, you'll be only hitting the first attack, or you can press two clicks and you'll only be performing uh, attacks one and two. That's what I was talking about earlier in the update method. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please consider subscribing. It will mean the world to me. Also, if you want to download the script, you can join my Discord and find it there. You can join there and share some of your project updates and talk with us for some feedback. We all have a great time there. So yeah, make sure to comment if you want any more tutorials like this video. And thanks for watching. Bye.